Stuart, you've had a few days to take in Saturday's defeat. What did you make of the game? Um, oh, listen, looking back on it, the better team on the day probably won. Um, I thought we were there thereabouts for 50 odd minutes. Um, probably didn't take the chances that we had in the first half that would have kept us, well, would have put us ahead, maybe kept us in the game. And, uh, and then the interception uh, by Robbie sort of killed us. And um, from then we're chasing, chasing the game and uh, against such a good side like Leinster, like they've went, I don't know, 20 something games on beating now. Um, you can't afford to be chasing games and let them fly off the line and come after you. From a personal point of view, how do you feel you've played over the last couple of weeks? Um, yeah, listen, we probably haven't won a lot of games, one, what, one out of three, but uh, on a personal level, I thought it went pretty well. Um, I've done what I've been asked to do um, in the team and uh, I thought I've had some pretty good def- or defensive contributions to the team. So, yeah, there's always things to improve, but uh, I'm not right at the top of a game, but I've been there, thereabouts for after coming back, after, what's that, five months off, I thought. How much have you enjoyed building a centre partnership with young James, James Hume? How good is he? Yeah, it's been great. James is... Uh, James has really come on over the last sort of year or so. We've seen him with that try at the weekend. He has some serious wheels and he's improving all those different parts of his game as any young player is. But he's 22 now and um, he's learning so quickly. He's had a few big injuries. It's probably set him back a year or two. But uh, no, he's been brilliant. And it's been uh, it's been sort of nice having him in there. Like, look, he's been great for us. Uh, he Marsh has been great for us when he's been there. And it's nice to have someone else there that can sort of fill that gap. Um, do you feel more responsibility being the experienced one out of the two centres? Um, I wouldn't say responsibility. I, I, I'll try to, I'll do my best to look after him, but James is a big boy and he knows what he's doing as much as I do a lot of the time. It's just like small things and trying to give him a bit of confidence to um, to play his best. That's what I, I've been trying to do. And, uh, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say responsibility. I think we bounce off each other well. And, uh, if he ever needs anything, he knows he can come to me. And how frustrating is it being overlooked by Ireland over the last number of years? Uh, tough on that. Uh, yeah, like, listen, any any rugby player's dream in Ireland is to play for Ireland week in, week out. Um, I'm disappointed to only have three caps in my name at 28 years old now. I think if I play better than that if uh, if you know what I mean I've played better than only having three caps and I think I've showed that and kind of the longevity of being in and around the squad without getting games I think that's probably five or six years of being close enough to get the game and not getting the game which is frustrating but I, I can only try to improve and uh, keep getting better as a player and hopefully get, a, get an opportunity at some point before I get too old And have you had much contact with Andy Parr? Um no, I've spoken to Andy maybe once. Uh, he spoke to him over lockdown, uh, and then I spoke to Mike Cat a bit as well. Um, but nothing, nothing too too deep. Just to go out and enjoy rugby and uh, let that sort of look after itself. Um, thought I was in a pretty good place before, and uh, everything shut down for the lockdown in terms of getting a game. But, but uh, yeah, we'll see how how things go when these uh, sort of autumn internationals come around. Moving on to Sunday, you take on Toulouse. How big a test will this be? Yeah, well, it doesn't really get much easier uh, from the Leinster game, does it? Um, yeah, another another world class or another class team. Um, they've shown that over the last year or two, so they have, and uh, they've got some class class backs. And yeah, we'll we'll just be going, looking to go and play our style of rugby. It'll be a slightly different game, I suspect, uh, what the Leinster game was. Um, but yeah, we'll. Try to fight a bit of fire, fire. We score a few tries and see what we do in defence. You've conceded 13 tries in the last four matches. If you give the likes of Ches and Colby and Thomas Ramos space, it could be a difficult afternoon, couldn't it? Yeah, well, if you've watched any of their games um, over the last year or so, if you give Ches and Colby any space, he's going to take advantage. Uh, we've also got Dupont and Entomac at uh, 9 and 10 who have pulled strings and a four pack that loves to offload. But uh, We've conceded 13, was that 13 tries in four games. Um, 
like I, listen, I thought we defended fairly well against Leinster the weekend. We can, it's one of those tries is intercept and we're moving in the right direction. It's just we've got to cut out those sort of silly mistakes, individual errors or costing us tries. You were part of that famous win in 2015 when you beat Toulouse in France. What do you remember from that day? Uh, I was, yeah, I was quite young then. Um, I've, I remember being class. We beat them 30 odds, 36 nil at home that year. But we always knew when you went away, they were a completely different animal. Um, I think the uh, main thing I remember from that day is uh, Luke Marshall taking an inside ball off Al O'Connor and running it under the post and giving it the big celebration. That's probably one of the abiding memories of that day. If you were to beat Toulouse on Sunday, do you think it would be a bigger achievement than that win in 2015? Oh, yeah, definitely. They were probably a bit more of a team in transition in 2015. They're not the team they are now. That um, I think they've come on leaps and bounds. The same as us, we're probably a better team than we were. Um, and also, it's a quarter final with a lot more to play for. Than, I don't think they had a great deal to play for in that uh, 2015 game, apart from a bit of home pride. So, um, yeah, it'll be a far bigger achievement. There will be 5,000 Toulouse fans in the stat earners follow on. This Sunday, how do you think this will affect uh, your team? Um, it might be a bit of a shock to the system for us not having any fans over the last uh, four weeks, but I think a lot of the guys will quite enjoy it. Um, even if they're sort of booing us or cheering against us, it, it's, it'll be nice to hear something in the stands instead of absolute silence all the time. And finally, how close do you feel All Star are to winning a trophy, and what still do you think needs to get better? Uh, we are close. We probably, if you look at the difference between us and Leinster, there's probably depth. Um, depth at the minute is probably something we've lacked, but we're, we're moving in the right direction. And if you see how far we've come in the last year and a half to where we are now, it's night and day. So if we keep on in, on that trajectory, I can't see why we can't win a trophy in the next year or win this trophy they're in at the minute. Brilliant. Good luck this weekend, sir. Thanks very much.